when you're leveling your bed, even if you use my e-leveler, there may be times you see spots in your bed that just aren't right. Let's talk about it and how to fix it on today's Film of Friday. This video is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. This video is also brought to you by PCBWay.com. Even if you use my e-leveler tool and you adjust each corner so that LED just turns on and then you run the squares test, you may still find some flaws in that squares test. It could be caused by a warped bed. If I put a flat edge against this bed, you can see I can slide paper under the middle of it and actually at various points across this thing. And it may not even be the bed material. It may be the base. If I put the flat edge here, you can actually see light underneath this thing. And there's plenty of room to slide this paper. So this thing is clearly warped. This is why I prefer to use a glass bed. Now I know it's heavier and you can get a little more ringing because of the weight of this thing moving back and forth. But glass beds tend to take up all those errors and give you a nice flat surface. So I put that straight edge on it here and I can't get the paper to slide underneath it because it is flat. You'll have to adjust your Z-stop and move it up a little bit because the bed is thicker, but you should get a lot better results with a glass bed. Another issue you may run into is a loose screw. You turn the knob and the screw turns, so you can't get that adjustment right and you end up with something like this. To fix that, I suggest you just take the bed off, remove it from the springs, and then use some super glue to glue those screws in place. Or you can use a nut with a nylon washer and tighten them in place and then you can slide the spring over the top of that. That way it holds the screw in place. That'll stop the screw from spinning when you adjust the knob, and that way you can adjust to get that perfect first layer. Another option is to use stiffer springs. You can get these 20 millimeter tall springs for an Ender 3 for pretty cheap, and they're much, much stiffer than the original springs. You can see it next to each other. There's more coils, they're just stiffer, so they're gonna hold that screw much tighter. In fact, most new printers now come with these springs for that reason. So that way you really don't see the spinning of the screw as much as we used to. Another issue you may run into is an uneven cross beam. What happens is it prints a crooked print, like this gap that shows up on the chep cube. So if I put a ruler on both sides of the cross beam, you can see one side is 14.1 millimeters, the other side is 13.9. So I need to get those equal. Now you can take this thing apart, pull it off, and adjust these two screws and play with it back and forth. But that's kind of a pain. There's a quicker way to do it. Now this is optional and not everyone wants to do this, but one of the screws lines right up with a slot in the upright extrusion. And there's a hole in the bracket that you can actually drill through. So if you take a drill, drill through that hole, through the aluminum extrusion until you come out the other side, now you're able to get a Allen wrench in that hole and adjust that screw. It's only one screw and now you can just pivot on the other one. It makes it much easier to get this thing adjusted. After a few tries, I got mine to level out perfectly, the same value on each side. And the chef cube printed perfectly square. These are just some of the things I found with people using my e-leveler. If you don't have my e-leveler, you can get it at a discount right now on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And we use PCBWay.com for all our boards. PCBWay.com is a great place to get low-cost circuit boards, but you can also get assembly services. You can supply them the parts or give them a bill of material with the parts list. They will track down the parts, solder things together, review it with you during the process, and at the end ship you completely assembled boards. So if you're looking for a manufacturing partner for your electronics designs, check out PCBWay.com. So the more square you can make things, the more flat you can make your bed, the better your results are going to be. Even if you have auto level and it takes multiple points, it's just averaging out those errors that are in the bed. So if your bed is flatter, you're going to get better results even with auto level. Let me know if this helped you in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or just buy through the affiliate links in the description below. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.